Welcome fellow Kerbernauts, or maybe future Kerbernauts. This is Ross, and welcome to the channel, or welcome back, considering that you might have already been to my channel. But whatever, that's neither here nor there. Kerbal Space Pro Program has fully launched into version 1.0 last week, and it's an exciting time. Already on version 1.0.2 means that they're already fixing stuff. Again, awesome. Now, what this video series is going to be is a beginner's guide to Kerbal Space Program. Because I already have over a thousand hours on this game easily, 900 and something on Steam, and I have quite some time on this prior to even transferring it to Steam. So let's just get into it and first with how to start a game. Now, I'm not going to insult your intelligence by saying click start game, but the one thing you want to do is actually click on settings. As was, that would be my first recommendation, because if you have a low-end system, you might want to adjust these graphics uh, settings. Mine are on high and everything, yes, but this is not necessarily dependent on your graphics card. It is actually dependent on your RAM, so just keep that in mind. Now, the one thing I also want to say is go to the add-ons and mods, not when you first start out, but after a couple of times you play this game, Go and look at the mods. They're on Curse, uh, the Curse's site. Uh, it's not on Steam work Workshop, and I don't know if it ever will be, but it's on uh, the Curse, and you can download mods, it's install them, and yeah, just do it. It's cool. So the one thing you want to do is actually go to the start game. Yep, I said it. I did insult your intelligence. Gosh darn it. You're going to start game. And you're going to go in here and you're going to see Career, Science, and Sandbox. Sandbox means you get everything. Science means that you just research science to get everything. You have to worry about reputation and money. And Career means you have to worry about everything. Going to Difficulty Options, you can see that there's different modes. Um, easy is easy. Normal is normal. Yeah, so forth and so on. You can adjust all the starting funds. So, like, if you want to be on hard but you want to start out with, like, a shit ton of money, yeah, you can do that. Um, Re-entry Heat is something that... You might want to turn down, but I would say don't turn it down and just get used to it and fail because that's the one beautiful thing about KSP is Kerbal Space Program that is, is just failing and watching your shit blow up. So name this what you want to name and then hit start. So I'll see you in there. Okay, so we are in the game now and I'm not going to read the welcome message. You can read it yourself. I won't insult your intelligence, but here is our space center. So if you hold down shift, WASD will move you around at a decent rate. Middle mouse button scrolling in and out will zoom. Um, if you do not hold the shift key with WASD, it goes really slow. If you hold down your right mouse button, you can rotate and you can you know, go around to your entire space center. So this is your vehicle assembly building. This is where you will build all your rockets. This is over here is the hangar, which you will build your space planes. This right here is mission control, and that's where we want to go first. So click on that, and the, you'll see there's different contracts to, and that are offered. Now, the, well, you can only accept two contracts right now, but let's choose the first one, which is launch, mm -hmm. launch mm -hmm. our first vessel. So the only thing you have to do is launch one, and you get 2,000 credits advanced, 5,000 at completion. So let's accept that. Now, the next one you want to accept here is gather scientific data from Kerbin. It's anywhere on Kerbin, so we're going to do that right away. Now the very first thing is does it gives you 23,000 and then completion 61,000. The monies, the monies. So let's go build the rocket. So back out here, you wanna click on your uh, vehicle assembly building. Once in your vehicle assembly building, you will see that you have some buttons up here. You have an exit, there's a, a load, which you can actually load different things once you save them. Um, and there is, this is for your carbonates. And then over here, is a whole bunch of things for fuel tanks and engines. Down here is the money that you have right now. We have 50,000 money. We have no reputation. This is your center lift button, your center thrust, and center mass. And that goes in, into um, more complex uh, rocket designs. Over here is your engineer report. Right now, we're only allowed to have, it says zero out of 30. So that means we're allowed to have max 30 parts and a mass of 18 tons. And then it also goes into the size that's allowed for the launch pad. Also here is your contracts. It shows the different contracts that we have currently and then notifications, which we have none. 
So the very first thing you want to do is click pods because we need a pod. Even, even though it's weird that we're st starting a space program mant, um, you can look at a different mod that's called, you know, not starting mant, but yes. Um, we are going to start mant and we need a, a capsule to put the person in. Now, let's go into fuel tanks. We don't have any yet. And let's go then into the RT5 Flea Solid Fuel Booster. Now this booster will just fire at 100%, burn all its fuel, and it burns it quite fast. Now the one thing to do is save money, you can go into the mono propellant right here and put that down to zero because we will not be using any mono propellant. Now the next thing you're gonna need is um, a parachute, okay? Parachute to get, um, yeah, back safely. That's why you need it. And then also you have mystery goo. Now we could add this, but it does cost 800, but we're gonna add it anyway, okay? Now if you hit X, X equals dual symmetry, and then you can go up from there, okay? Now if you hit C, C lets you kind to kind of either clip or like it actually uh, goes around on very precise nodes, or if you don't want it on precise nodes, it can go anywhere that you want. So we're gonna actually hit C and then put it right here on the seam line and add into Mystery Goose. And you'll see why later. Now let's get to the launch station. So here on the launch pad, you'll notice that we look really small. Now the one thing I forgot was to stage it so you can hit the plus and minus signs and then we're gonna have to move the engine down here. You can actually do this in the vehicle assembly building, but it shows you that you can also do this right on the launch pad. So if you forget to do it like I usually do, you can look at the and make sure that your engine is down here in stage one and that you know it's staged properly with your parachute as the last stage. So the one thing that we're going to do right away is we're going to take a crew report here and we're going to save it because we can't transmit it because we don't have an antenna, okay? But this is going to fulfill our requirement for the contract. Now also we're going to take an observe and mystery goof here as well. This is three science and we're going to take that. And then we're going to hold down, well, we don't have to hold down shift, but you can also hold down T for SAS, even though he doesn't have any pilot skills yet. Um, we will get into that in another episode, but it, this will hold you somewhat steady. And then you hit space bar to actually fire the engines. And off we go! 150 meters per second, 300 meters per second achieved, and we are up in the air. Look at that, nice and fast, 3,000 meters per, uh, in the air, and we're slowing down with 3,500, and let's observe the other mystery goo. And we got seven signs now. We're gonna keep that data, boom. And as we fall back down to Earth, we're actually gonna just wait a little bit, because it's gonna take some time for us to fall back to Earth if we uh, put our parachute out right now. But if we just wait a little bit, we'll deploy our parachute, at a little bit more safer altitude. Now, if you're getting worried about your ship and you're like, oh my gosh, I might crash, well, you can deploy your parachute at an earlier age and then you just have to hit time shift to actually come, uh, you know, uh, get down faster. So you can see the drag chute is deployed. Now, the drag chute and parachute are all one. And then you can see right here, the main unfolds. And we slow down to a nice 6.6 .6 meters per second. Now, if you hit down alt and period, you can time warp up to time four and then slow it down and boom, you have landed. Now to end your mission on the ground, you can go uh, move your mouse up to where the altimeter is and hit recover vessel. This will end your mission. So let's recover the vessel now. Once you recover your vessel and the mission is ended, you will see a nice little information graphic come up. Now this shows you the science. You got a crew report from the launch pad. You have mystery goo for, uh, observation from launch pad. Mystery goo from flying over Kerbin. And also we got recovery of vessel that survived a flight. We got science for that because yay, science. Now also the parts were refunded. You got We got mystery goo, 1600 it cost. Uh, and yeah, we got 100% back because it all landed there. So it wasn't that expensive because nothing broke and everyone land, everything landed right there, which is awesome. Okay, crew, he gained one experience. Yay, Jebediah. Now, one thing to pay attention to in the upper right-hand corner 
is all these nice little check marks. This is your notifications. If you click on it, it shows you gather scientific data from Kerbin. 61,000 credits earned, 10 science, 24 reputation. Awesome, we can get rid of that one. The next one, achieve 3,500 meters. We get 2,890 credits for that. Awesome. Uh, new shattered uh, the speed record. Good job. Almost 7,000. And you just see that we're getting nice credits. We're getting uh, launched the first vessel, and we completed a lot of steps. Now, the next thing that you want to do from here is that you want to actually go back into your um, command center oh, or man. the mission control, and we need to accept more contracts. But you can see we can only accept two at a time. And now that we've earned a lot of money, which is not necessarily a lot of money, the one thing that we want to do is actually uh -huh. upgrade buildings. How do you want to upgrade buildings is actually going to right click on it and upgrade or mission control is going to show up. It says mission control and the upgrade is only 75,000. And this is my recommendation to all new players is the one thing that you would want to do is upgrade your mission control as soon as possible. So this will allow you to get more missions so you can actually compete and complete more missions on each single launch. And that's the goal here is to complete the most missions on each launch. So let's uh, upgrade that and then we spend 75,000. Now we have 55,000 left and that will give us enough to build a rocket. And then we can see that he, we have um, the launch here. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to right click. This would cost another 75,000. That might be your next one to upgrade. But now we want to actually go into the research and development. Okay, because we earned all that science, we need to spend it. Okay, now this is a research tree like any research tree that you've seen in any game, and you can see all the way to the end, very heavy rocketry. You can see some the mom, uh, mammoth um, liquid fuel engine. Uh, you can go down to here. You can see this is a narrow band scanner for mining operations. So you can look through all of this and see where you want to go. But the first things that we're going to do is get basic rocketry, which gives us some new engines and a fuel tank. And we're going to go into this is basic engineering, which is five science as well. And you can see right here on the top side, it says that we have 17 uh, left, 17.5. And all these, oh, nope, this one's uh, 15 science. So we can decide, like, should we do this service bay? A heat resistant surface bay ideal for protecting delicate instruments um heat shield heat shield could be freaking and very important and yeah i think we will take the survivability for 15. now we have 2.5 science left but that's okay because well you need to spend it anyway so that's going to end episode one of for beginners and that's pretty much the first mission that you would do Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. It means a lot to me and I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you like this content and all the other content I put on my channel, please subscribe and join my community. As always though, I'm The Flying Ross. I'll check you guys next time.